Hey, hello, hope you're doing good today, having a great day. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick video showing an update I made on my uh, printer. So I had the, um, you know, every, a lot of these hot beds are uh, burning out the side of the connectors there. And uh, so that happened to me. And luckily I had already installed Merlin far, uh, firmware and it had protected my system, shut it down before it caused any damage there. Um, but I said to make some modifications to get my printer up and running. And I'm pretty well pleased with how it came out, so I thought I showed you, I would show you how I did it. So I'm just using a blue connector. Um, I like the blue connector because the the ends on it there fit really nice onto the pins. Um, but the crimp part of it that goes on the wire kind of should really be gauged for a red connector. So the way I worked around that was uh, use the bluer connector, which is for a heavier gauge wire. But on my crimping tool, I, I crimped it to the red specs to get a nice tight crimp on the, the wires there. And so it's very firm. And so they kind of got the best of both going there. So the red ones felt a little bit too tight. Um, and the blue one's just a perfect match. And it is a heavier gauge connector. So also as I did is I you know, crimped the, um, the positive and negative leads on. And I'm also, because I'm... Um, hooking onto two wires I have a better contact and for um, what I did is I took the the burnt up plug and I shaved off um, where the positive and negative used to go and just left this. This is just mostly a signaling wire it reads the temperature of the bed but it's not like a high current or anything like that so this actually this part should be fine so all I did I actually pulled it out and uh, bent these tabs up a little bit so it had a nicer bite in there um, and then it now will just uh, slip right in there and clip in like it used to and uh, so yeah I've been doing some prints like this and the stress on it you can see there's pretty much no stress going on those wire connectors um, and that's just the nature of it. I just have this looped up here the only real movement I'm getting is just a very gentle movement right up here and that should be fine. So anyway, so thought this might help somebody out there. Um, just to show you what I did to do. I'm not saying this is the correct way to do it or anything, but this is just how I tackled the problem. It seems to be working well. So I thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. You have a great day.